Today we're removing the stereo from a 2014 Mercedes ML. Uh, we're going to need a T20 and a couple of pry bars to remove this stereo. We're going to start with our larger pry bar and remove this silver trim that goes around the radio. Uh, this is usually somewhat finger tight so you can get it pretty much with your fingers working your way around. There are several clips that hold this in place. These clips release with a little bit of pry pressure. And you can, like I say, work your way around this panel. And it removes. There are four, cl four clips. Two on the left, two on the right, and a guide pin that goes in the center here at the top. Now with this remove, we're going to take our smaller pry tool and pry down here at the little openings at the top of the AC controls. And this should pry this right out of the dash. Okay. There are clips that hold this in place as well. Now that we have the AC controls loose, we're going to put a shop towel down on the dash, pull this forward and pull it down to get it out of the way and not scratch the face. Now we have two T20 screws. One is over here on the right. And we have to remove these screws because they uh, hold two metal slide brackets that lock the radio into the dash to keep it from coming out. And with, and with these two screws removed, these this will allow you to move the metal lever here to the down position that pulls the, the key out of the locks on the radio on the r left side. Repeat that for the right side. And this will allow us to pull the stereo out of the dash. Now we want to be careful here. Now as you're Pulling the stereo out of the dash, there is a connector here that goes to the bottom controls here. And we are going to disconnect this connector. It has a trigger on it and then this connector will release. And these are the locking mechanisms on the side. They seem to be in the way of pushing the trigger down here. There we go, I heard it click and release. This first connector has a trigger on the top you push this trigger down and it releases the lock and allows you to pull the connector out. Now we can pull this out without damaging the front face or the wire connectors. And as you can notice we have quite a few connections here depending on what your features are and so on. And again all these have little triggers on them and can be released and removed. Uh, little triggers uh, push down on them and this will release the connectors. These are all color-coded and keyed, so there's no need to mark where they go. Just make sure that when you go to put the stereo back in the dash, that you're able to locate all the connectors. Don't lose one in the dash. Okay. Get a little help here with a screwdriver to push the trigger down. And there's one. Uh, these all will have triggers on the bottom of them as well. And we're going to see if we can take care of these triggers too. Push the trigger down on the yellow. Again, like I said, these are all color-coded. And they do take some time to get out and disconnect. tab holding the one wire harness from the front end and you can slide it up to the larger slot and pull it out. There is a little slot for that to go back in and align. Now we also have two more antennas, pink and gray here. We're going to use our screwdriver to help with uh, pushing the trigger down and removing the connectors. Now we have the one main remaining connector and this one has a swing arm on it uh, this is the main connector it also has a lock that is right here and we're going to pinch this lock squeeze it down to this arm and as you squeeze this little trigger down you're going to pull this arm back 
and what this arm does as it lifts up it releases the locks on the connector pushes it up out of the main connector and you can remove it uh, to put this back in this arm that goes up and down this is the lock position and it can't move because it's locked and when you release the lock and pull the arm up the arm has to be in the all the way up position when reinstalling this connector and as you push it in and push the arm down it'll lock it back into place again removing the connector and like I say depending on the features you have you may have more antennas on the vehicle uh, make sure you get all these taken care of this is how you remove the stereo from a 2014 Mercedes ML